Cold and flu season is upon us. Whether it be the flu, the Andromeda strain, or even the zombie plague, it's never too early to prepare for a possible pandemic. An environment that keeps workers close together and shared workspaces provides a great breeding ground for germs and a possible ground zero for a future pandemic. A pandemic is an outbreak of a virus that spreads to global proportions. It happens when a new virus emerges among humans, causes serious illness, and is easily transmissible. There are a few easy steps you and your office can take to help prevent the spread of germs and win the next pandemic battle. The first line of pandemic defense is social distancing. Social distancing is trying to keep a three to six foot distance between you and coworkers. Avoid any close contact when possible and try to minimize time spent sharing workstations. When possible, telecommuter teleconference. You don't look too good. Maybe you should go home. If you're sick, stay at home. This keeps you away from germs. Or a bite from a coworker. Uh, do you have a copy of yesterday's report? Uh. Follow the Center for Disease Control's recommendation and stay at home for at least 24 hours after your fever is gone, without the aid of fever-reducing medication. If possible, get vaccinated early. Vaccinations have been shown to prevent influenza in about 70 to 90% of healthy persons younger than 65. Oh, what the heck? You're welcome. Man. Wash your hands. Proper hand washing is critical to prevent the spread of disease. But did you know that you should wash your hands for at least 20 seconds with soap and hot water? Whatever. <laughs> 20 seconds is about the time it takes to sing happy birthday twice. Be sure to get all those forgotten areas, the tops of your wrists, between your fingers, and don't forget to scrub your fingernails. I thought I told you to go home. Allergies. Home! Okay. Cover your cough. If you need to cough or sneeze, cover your cough with a tissue or sneeze into the crook of your arm and sleeve. Obviously this doesn't work if you don't have sleeves. Tissues and fabrics trap the viruses and bacteria, unlike coughing or sneezing directly into your hand. All these airborne germs can really take a bite out of your co-workers. Hand washing is superior to hand sanitizers because it gets to the germs beneath the dirt and oils on the hands. But providing hand sanitizing stations for employees can help reduce absenteeism anywhere from 20 to 40 percent. No studies have proven sanitizers effectiveness on zombies. Remember, effective hand washing and sanitizers keeps everyone safe and healthy, not just you. It's also a good idea to clean common areas frequently. You never know what you could leave behind. Every office should make sure there are ample infection control supplies such as tissues, hand hygiene supplies, and disinfectant wipes for flu prevention. Or guns, ammo, and non-perishable food supplies in case of a zombie outbreak. Offices should develop a protocol for cleaning and sanitizing common areas and workstations. Cleaning frequency should be increased if someone becomes ill in the office. Following these simple steps should significantly aid against any flu pandemic or zombie apocalypse. It's your personal responsibility to take cautionary measures to prevent the further spread of infection.